Hey, I'm Pazuz, and this is my Bloodborne cosplay build. It is based off of the choir hunter that invades you in Bergenworth. Uh, I'm really tired of waiting for a Bloodborne PC port or a sequel or a remaster, so I'm just taking it in my own hands in the meantime. Uh, I tried to make this build as close as possible to the NPC's weapons, armor, and abilities. It does feel like you're playing Bloodborne, and it takes advantage of how creative you can be with all the build variety that Elden Ring has, so I, I had a lot of fun with it. Alright, for the fashion, I'm wearing the Night Maiden's Twin Crown because it looks a lot like the Bicorn hat that the Choir Hunter wears. I'm using the Nox Greaves, but you could substitute that for something with higher poise if you want. I use the Nox Maiden or the Nox Swordstress chest piece, but the Swordstress does have one more poise, so that's what I like. Uh, I use the Fire Prelate Gauntlets so that I can get up to 56 poise, which isn't a lot, but it can poise you through some whip, claw, and thrusting sword attacks. For PvE, you only need 51 poise, so you could use the scaled gauntlets instead of uh, fire prelates. For my weapons, I'm running the blood-infused cane sword and an occult Hoslo's pedal whip to mimic the threaded cane. The cane sword is one of the worst straight swords in terms of AR, length, and its moveset. It shares the same moveset as the broadsword, and the broadsword has super high AR. Uh, and every other straight sword that I can think of has a better move set because it has a thrusting crouch attack. Uh, but I wanted to go with the cosplay over, like you know, min maxing for this build. Uh, the move set is actually really close to the untransformed version of the threaded cane from Bloodborne, but it doesn't have the charged thrusting attack that you have for a heavy. So I use the impaling thrust dash of war, and that really feels like it. The uh, cane sword's AR is so low that I just avoid using it uh, with the occult infusion. Instead, I go for it, the blood infusion, which gives it a 115 bleed buildup with our arcane stats, so that is really high for such a fast weapon. The Hoslo's Pedal Whip is the perfect weapon for this build. It seems like it shares a lot of assets even with the threaded cane, so definitely has the same sound. When I'm making fake Bloodborne trick weapons in Elden Ring, I always try to put Quick Step on one of the two weapons so that it feels more like I'm playing Bloodborne. And for this build, the Whip moveset really benefits from having Quick Step on it. But the downside is that you can't Quick Step backstab with the Whip, and I really love Quick Step backstabs uh, with these Bloodborne builds. It's probably my favorite thing to do, especially with the Scythe. The Occult Infusion gets us both a lot of AR and blood buildup with this weapon, and with all of the arcane that we have, it helps both our staff scaling and our seal scaling, so arcane is really the best version of this build, if you really want to use all of the abilities that the NPC uses in Bloodborne. Our most important spell actually does not rely on the staff scaling at all, but we do use the Albinoric staff to uh, cast the uh, Night Maiden's Mist spell which really feels a lot like Rose Marinus. It, uh, it covers a lot of an area though, and it stays there, so you don't actually have to actively spray it, which is good, it's a benefit. It comes with the downside of you cannot stand in it. I've only gotten killed by it a couple of times, so you just gotta be aware. I don't think I ever would have used this spell or had near as much fun with it if I had not seen Saint Riot using it in Invasions, so I uh, gotta, gotta thank him for that one. The mist really helps with spacing and with forcing 1v1s, especially in uh, like shut-off environments. It pairs very well with the whip's moveset, and it goes well with pest threads, which is our next ability that I'm using to kind of mimic a call beyond. It, the casting animation looks a lot like a call beyond, but the projectiles look a little bit different. I also like to use Glintstone Stars because its projectiles look more like the ones that a Call Beyond shoots, but they also kind of look like the projectiles that Brain Suckers shoot at you, uh, and I already have a Brain Sucker build that I'm working on, so subscribe if you want to see that. Pest Threads doesn't seem to be as good as I remember it being uh, when the game launched, but it is very good. I like to use it with Swift Glintstone Shard. Magic Glint Blade and Glintstone Stars to kind of force people to roll at the wrong time and take the damage. So the next Choir Hunter ability that I'm trying to mimic is the Augur of Avritus. It shoots a bunch of tentacles out of your hand, and the closest thing that I could get is the Coiled Shield. It shoots the snake out and it applies poison, which goes super well with the Night Maiden 
mist, so that is a very strong option. But I use Whirl of Flame instead because I can cast both Pest Threads and that with my Dragon Communion Seal, and it just kind of makes my slots less crowded. One of the reasons that my slots are a little crowded is that I like to have a Misericord in my offhand to parry and crit people with, just because I like to do parries a lot, and you know, parries are a big part of Bloodborne, so it feels right. You could run the Coiled Shield instead of the Misericord if you want to have a, a better Augur of Abriatus instead of that. For my Talismans, I'm running the Bullgoat Talisman, the Lord of Blood's Exaltation, the Urtree Favor plus two, and you can either run the Furled Finger Trick Mirror to show off your fashion, or the Dagger Talisman because I just love to parry. Here are the stats I'm running on this build. They are the minimum requirements for the weapons, spells, and incants that I'm using, and I also just dumped the rest of the points into Arcane, and I gave myself a decent amount of mind because I like to cast. Alright, so that's the whole build. I got some duels coming up that I did at level 138, and I also have some invasions that I did at level 25. The build is basically the same, except your Vigor, Arcane, and Mind are just lowered. I'll post the stats in the description. Hope you enjoyed the build, and I hope you enjoy some of this gameplay.
All right, thanks for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to be coming out with a lot more Bloodborne cosplay and role-playing builds in the future, so subscribe if you'd like to see some more.